So, still at ISPO and uh, we're here uh, in uh, Marker's uh, place and we're with Max, the product manager for, for Bindings. How do you do? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Yeah. I'm fine. And uh, you have come up with a, a lighter version of the classic uh, freeride binding kingpin. Yeah, Tell us, what, what have you done? So, based on our uh, successful ping, kingpin, we've exchanged the toe part and used our alpinist toe part. And uh, which already uses the carbon reinfused material at the front part, and that's what we've also used for the heel now. And this is uh, exchanging the toe part and replacing the material for the heel is the two points where we get the most weight reduction from. So we end up being 120 grams lighter per piece. That's I mean that sounds uh, very little, but uh, speaking about the binding like this, it's quite hard to get that weight off because still it uh, goes to DIN 12 right? Mm -hmm. It still goes from uh, from 5 till 12 yeah. it will be only one version for now yeah. but some people might say well you had six springs before and now you only have two how is that possible without losing performance yeah. so it's just not the case the Alpinist toe part is basically just a more refined version of the Kingpin toe part and we even have better retention force in the toe part here because the springs here they rest in a sharper angle and also the design of the toe part itself with the stiffer material allows us to gain more force so so you've you've when taken it yeah. yeah if it's closed with the binding uh, in the boot here in the front so it snaps more than the toe part of the kingpin does now actually so yeah so Less springs in the front, and then there's uh, carbon in the back, or uh, that have reduced weight. Yes, exactly. So uh, what we've done here is we used the long carbon fibers and injected it into the polyamide material. So uh, in the kingpin, we have uh, like short particles of glass fiber, and here we now have up to a one centimeter long carbon fibers infused to the material, which makes it a lot lighter and stiffer at the same time, especially stiffer. So that's why we say you even have a slightly better downhill performance because the overall system is just stiffer yeah, and less likely to bend. And if we, I mean, uh, Kingpin has been around uh, for a bit, but if we do a little uh, recap, uh, when, when we walk uphill, how many uh, uh, positions do we have uphill on this one? So we still have uh, three positions there's zero uh, seven and 13 degrees climbing aids so yeah nothing has changed here so if you are in the ski mode and you pull the heel down you'll have uh, the seven and the 13 degree climbing aid as well yeah and, and when also and one thing we redefined the uh, levers here the climbing aids they are have gotten a lot uh, thinner and just the design is, yeah. We've gained some grams here as well for the weight reduction and as well that goes for the ski walk lever also has became a lot like thinner, yeah. So speaking about the, the toe part, there is no elasticity there, right? So there's no uh, Dean releasing at the front, no, no. But, but in the back there's uh, the Dean releasing? Yes, so Right now we are still working on our um, ISO certificate, what we have for the Kingpin, but until the product launch we are pretty sure that we will also have it for the, our M-Works. Yeah. And Kingpin M-Works, uh, uh, when will it hit stores? In autumn 2019? Yes, it will be for sale for 1920 season. Yes. And in 5 to 12, is that the only option or will it come stiffer or...? Uh well, for, now, for now we are planning on, for next year, for next season, we will have it only in this version, 5 to 12. Mm -hmm. for, the, for now, no demo version or anything and only this one version because, yeah, I think it makes the most sense right now. And we still keep the kingpins. So, yeah. Super. And, uh, and the toe part, uh, no problem here? <laughs> no. No, I mean, we know that we that this went really bad, but uh, we're, we're cleaning it up right now and we're on our way. And 
we will have there's there are no problems with this tow part at all and yeah things I mean, happen and yeah. we're we're just cleaning it up and but uh, yeah we are preventing that this will happen again as well so it's hard to be flawless and uh, the ones that have had problems they have got the new binding so no problem there but the big question uh, are you working on some new project to uh, maybe do some competition on um, a certain binding from uh, a French, French, French uh, little brand called uh, Solomon. Well, I can't confirm you any information about that okay. right now. Nothing. But we are like we, we look at the market, yeah. and of course we always. I mean, we have a look around, and we know what would be good yeah. to have against our competitors. But anything else you won't hear from me now. Yeah. We're looking forward to see what you are cooking in your basement and maybe bring something next year on ISPO or the year after. Okay, Max, uh, thanks a lot. And uh, Thank you. if you want to see some more clips uh, here from ISPO, just check out here and don't forget to subscribe. Yes. Okay, have a good one. You too. Thank you.